Today, in lesson 3, on data visualization with Tableau, we'll create an area graph. Area graphs are usually used to show the cumulative effects of more than one measures. To create an area graph, we need to import the Excel sheet from the Superstore file. To do that, we need to start the Tableau. So now we are going to bring the Excel sheet Superstore into the Tableau. Once we have loaded the sheet, drag orders in here, then we open the sheet. After that, we are going to bring order date in columns and change year into months so months and years are together then we are going to bring cells into rows and that creates a line chart to see profit also we bring profit next to cells and this gives us two different line chart and you can see there's a high correlation between profit and sales. So now we can also draw area graph that may give us a little more insight into it. So what we'll do we'll delete remove this from here and convert uh, change this to remove this and bring cells in here and convert this to area graph after that we are going to bring profit again next to cells and that provides us area graph on both cells and profit we could change the color by clicking on edit colors and what we'll do, we'll change cells into blue and profit into yellow or gold. So that way we can see the profits are increasing or decreasing as for example in here profits are decreasing that means we're incurring some loss the same thing in here however over the years it looks like both sales and profits are increasing another thing we can also do we can um, change the formatting of fields into months and years so we can easily see what is going on with our sales and profit as you can see uh, usually in November in 2012 November 2013 and other years sales and profit both has increased which basically tells us there is a seasonality going on in our sales data therefore when we do data analysis we should take that into account there so that we can predict the sales and profit as properly as possible so as you can see um, this is basically area graph so next thing we can do uh, bring in uh, some filters so one of the filters that we have used was order date so order date is one of the filter and you use range of dates and keep it range of dates the other one is customer segment keep all of them okay and then the region region is here hiding so bring in region all okay and then show the filters same thing with sec customer segment show filters 
and with regions show filters as before we can also see individual effect on regions as for example uh, if we look at region south the loss is more relative to if we look at region east so these comparisons can be helpful and also another thing is we can use this time slider as you can see there are some loss happening in the beginning so if we squeeze it to 2011 looks like loss is almost non-existent all regions together after 2011 so these are some of the interesting thing that you can see uh, the compared the trend and the closeness between profit and sales using area graph so that's all we have for area graph next time we'll try to go into another interesting graph is called motion chart basically the chart will play by itself so we'll talk about it in lesson four thanks for watching bye now